Good evening, this is part 2 from Angular Dart course. Please don't forget to subscribe and share, it will be appreciated and thank you. Now we have our styling, we have our assets. Uh, let's start to build uh, uh, our app. First we will try to test this out. So I'm in, in the app component, uh, we see that uh, the app component with the styling. So this styling we don't need it in the app component. Also. Uh, removing the file from app component so app component styling so this file is no needed and if you are using uh, not see uh, i mean not podstrap or trying to use the uh, another li uh, library css library uh, angular dart comes by default with angular dart component which is the material ui component you can take a look at it and then you see uh, which one is satisfy you and then we can work with it but for me i'm going to use bootstrap so this one is no needed also i'm going to remove the uh, to-do list here and also uh, to do this from directives so we will have just the clean up and then in the app html there is no to-do list anymore here but we will test out the let's say the font and also the classes for the styling uh, uh, for bootstrap and also the font uh, icon monster so i will bring this one and I say pizza that's the icon pizza here and maybe this is for h1 so let me try to say class and text and mute it and start running our app so this is run here tick copy so this is will start loading and then we will see our uh, text muted and also the pizza uh, icon so this is a uh, successfully uh, loaded so uh, we are good to go and starting building our components so the first one we will do is the header so uh, but before the header we yeah is the header but this header will be inside the container so the container here the our class container and then we will build uh, let's call it app dot header so app uh, dot header is not exist yet so we're gonna build this app to header so if we go to source there is no to-do list anymore so we will we will re um, remove all of to-do list inside the source we will make a new folder i will call it components and this uh, components will uh, hold uh, every uh, component that we will make uh, and also with uh, with its own surfaces and with its own uh, classes so a new file here uh, sorry a new uh, folder here and then we will call it app dot header and then dart uh, actually no app dot header yes and then a new file app so if you take a look this is kind of convention that we uh, angular uh, used to uh, use so this is a uh, uh, this is the uh, the uh, that comes the the name of the uh, file and then the component and which type of the fi file that you gonna use. So it's kind of like this is a component, and then the uh, Dart or uh, TypeScript in ang normal Angular uh, app. So this is our app. So uh, what I'm going to do also a new file here. I will call this one app here and then inside the app.header we will be gonna do i will use this my extension and that's this my extension is called like app and then app header here so this is the selector so this is our selector that used in, inside the app components and uh, here we have app header dot template so instead of uh, um, underscore we will use just template here you can use also inline uh, html tags but i use it in another file so it will be like this also you can see that the core directives uh, imported uh, from angular dart uh, package uh, which uh, this one 
will make all the directives so from angular uh, be available like ng4 and ngf and all the directives i mean and then he will change our uh, component name so we'll call it up header like this and then we also use ng on it and that's if we want one of the li life cycle hooks and that's if we want to initialize any uh, data in the beginning but we don't use any data so i will just remove it here and then we don't need a dart async so this is the normal uh, header here so this will work like this but we don't have anything inside here so what we're gonna do is bring the navigation so this is a classes that uh, you can use uh, this classes or this uh, extension via the VS code for bootstrap classes and then you bring just write navigation and then it will, it will uh, bring you a boilerplate uh, about all the uh, navigation. So here we don't use an item one, we will use actually an image. And then we will say logo.png, <coughs> sorry. And then we say logo and with So I will go with 50 here pixel and height is 50 pixel. So uh, this is for the logo, but as you can see that we don't refer to any relative path inside for logo because this will uh, hand, it will be handled via Dart and Angular. So this will pick the, the assets from uh, from the web uh, from the web here. So from the assets. So don't be confused because I was confused actually in the beginning. So, but this is the how it works like in the assets, and also uh, this will not uh, bring any problems in the build time because I saw a lot of people also have problems with the build by referring to the relative parts. But this one is the best way. Uh, yeah, so this is uh, working here. So let's uh, try to. Uh, go to app component so the only thing that uh, our app component because this one is already imported but why is not showing because we don't import app header so we will say app header here and then this should refresh let me check refresh yes our logo and item 2 so this is uh, working so the first thing we will do is uh, customizing the header component here, uh, the HTML header. So we will use the display flex here. So this is all uh, classes, uh, cl uh, bootstrap classes. If you are not confused, just go uh, check it this out. So I'm gonna use justify content space between here and also align items. Align items, it will be the center, which uh, this will be aligned uh, in the center. So the items will be aligned uh, in the center of this one. And you can see the, that uh, there is two uh, spaces here. So what we are going to do actually, as we discussed in the design, that uh, the navig. So uh, here it will be the the logo navigation bar and then there is another uh, like uh, uh, another uh, navigation for the profile so it will be a bit separate so what I'm going to do is actually just copy this out and then uh, instead of the item 2 we will use courses here and instead of the item 2 in the third navigation bar we will use like profile So this is our uh, profile. As you can see, the profile is separate than other uh, and two courses. That's because we use justify content space between. And uh, now, let's say that we have more than a uh, navigation bar. So let's we copy this, and then we will see that these uh, guys is goes uh, underneath each other. So that's why we need to also to use display flex with the uh, the same. Uh, classes so that will make the same uh, aligning so this will be a uh, separate than profile and separate than the logo but for now we don't use uh, we're not gonna use more than one uh, page 
until we will modify this later so this is we'll go to courses now if you click to this you're not gonna see anything but we will use the href here so the href says that to, to the uh, uh, it's, it's called to a hashtag but this one is it should go to like this to courses which is not uh, exist yet and we cannot use it so now we will use uh, routing in angular so in order to navigate through the pages we cannot use this uh, href and then uh, uh, by uh, uh, providing the, uh, the slash with the courses because if you click here you say it's not found and that's true because there is no uh, page not found uh, courses like this so we will use uh, angular route so if you go to uh, pepspec so let's say to go pepspec, uh, pepspec yaml file and then i will uh, install the angular route here angular router and that will uh, trigger the vs code extension and uh, dart extension and it will install the packages and and also we leave this is installed and then we will make up a boilerplate for uh, the course is a component so if you go to components here make a new folder and we call it up courses or maybe you know what i don't like to add up always so this is gonna be really long uh, so just courses and then we make a new file here called it courses dash point component point dart so this is our component and now let's make also the courses uh, template template.html okay and let's uh, try to put any any data here so let's say uh, courses works page works and here we will use also the Dart extension that uh, and the snips, and then we will say that this is just gonna be the courses, and remove the rest. So this, so this is gonna be like courses, and then component no needed, and no directives. This uh, no other things. This one gonna be courses component and also there's now no need for now for the ng on it so this one gonna be uh, out so we have our courses we have the uh, component now let's uh, register this component inside uh, the app component we will gonna use courses component and then inside the app component html we're just go gonna use courses tag So this this means that the course's uh, page works. That's true, but now we need to handle this via the router. So we're gonna remove this one, and then we will switch to the router. So in order to use the route uh, routing in Angular, we were gonna use uh, we're gonna go to the main uh, Dart here, and we will try to import a generated <coughs> generated sorry generated injector, and that will take. Uh, the parameter of routing and that's what we're gonna use is not directives router uh, provider hash so this one is will uh, um, 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 import the router provider inside so it comes from angular route inside our uh, main app and then we, we need to because this one is uh, will be uh, provided as a uh, as a, de a decorator so we need to put uh, uh, a variable here so we say final and that uh, will be injector so injector factory and that's the type of the file injector factory and we called it just maybe injector factory or we can call it anything you want so i will call it just injector and then and this uh, injector will take the self and I will tell you why uh, what is the self means and then we say injector dollar sign 
injector. Now we have to import the self here and the self is just a, a reference to main our main template, the compiled main template. So we'll just say import and then say main dot template dot dart. So uh, this one uh, you have to know, uh, you have to uh, kind of like notice that uh, every compiled uh, component will be uh, like this. So uh, let's say that we have main, so it will be main dot template dot dart. We have app. It will be up to template to dart as you can see here up component to template at dart and then we will see that's the comp at the compile time and then we will use it as a self and that's it so this will uh, bring our main uh, template dart and and that will be the injector and the injector will be uh, uh, kind of like the injector so i know this is a weird uh, syntax but yeah this is the how angular uh, dart works and then uh, we need to provide this injector inside uh, creating injector so inside the run app there is a create injector property that's uh, an optional and then we will provide our injector here so uh, now we have our injector uh, kind of things that i don't like this is ng so i'm gonna uh, change it to up so it makes uh, it makes more sense that if you say like ah, okay this is the app so this is the beginning and i don't like it like to say just ng and now our injector is works and let's try to check so main template dart itself from course is main dart package angular router router from course so this is a common uh, problem that you will see uh, a lot inside when you import anything or you try to uh, modify the main uh, dart so what you need to do actually first is stop the terminal and then uh, uh, retry ret uh, running the terminal again so this works for me so as you can see it succeeded so this is the first thing you need to do also uh, if we go to app uh, uh, component now we need our routes and that will be inside the directives so we need also uh, before any uh, directives or maybe you can use it after but it's better to use it before any directives and we will provide our router directives here and that's what we'll uh, say that we can use now we can use the uh, router uh, directive inside the app component.html here so we can use say router so this is router outlet means that uh, our route uh, our route will be uh, so in, so the app header it not be imported it's not going to be part of our route so the app header will be always there and then uh, our, the route will be changing so just the content of the app and what we need to do also to provide the router we need to provide the routes but we don't have the routes yet so we need to create these routes uh, now so what i'm going to do is inside the source i'm going to make a new file a new folder and call it utils here and inside this utils i make a new file called routes So this class routes will hold all the routes and then we will have also uh, our uh, routing path. So there's two different classes. Uh, it's nice to have it in separate classes because it's gonna be, uh, it might be gonna uh, more, uh, uh, it's gonna be large file. So that's why uh, it's be better to put it in the separate classes. So what I'm going to do here, uh, so this is the routes I'm going, to first i'm going to use the route uh, another uh, file so start with another one so routes path or maybe route paths it make more sense because maybe it might be the the, the dart uh, or angular router has already a, a directive or a package called route paths so we need to be careful with the naming here and what we're going to do is first we import uh, we import our uh, package uh, router so that's called angular 
angular router here and that will be angular sorry here router dot dart and what i'm going to do is to use final so let's uh, for the id uh, we need id here no we don't need it so let's say class and then route path so this is our class and what we need to do we need to make every uh, property here is as uh, a static so a static final and then courses route so that will be the, our route path and then we bring our route path see the differences between the fa uh, between the the import so this route path comes from angular router and our uh, router or our file called routes path paths so you need to be careful with the naming as i said and then here what we're gonna do this will take uh, a properties here one of them is the path arguments sorry and then we will call this one courses and uh, for now that's uh, that's it so uh yeah that's uh, that's it for now so we'll go to another class called routes and in this class what i'm going to do is first uh, defining the class called routes and what i'm going to do is take take all those static and then final and then called courses route and that will bring route definition so if you search for route definition this is also from angular route and then we start a new uh, definition route if you check here for which uh, uh, argument that you need to use one of them is the path or route path and then we will use our route paths yes route paths and then it will take well it should be uh, available so this will take courses so that's true because we don't have route path imported but now we need to, to import this one and then you see that I have courses this is a static so static works in the static and also we need to provide our component that's a typical uh, future if you take a look at it the route definition is typical angular uh, uh, routing and what we're going to do is import uh, the course here so take a look at this first i'm going to import it i'm going to call this one courses it might be confusing that we can use the route here so actually after we import the component we don't import the component uh, directly we import the compiled component so what we're going to do is say import here and say uh, package or maybe go up component and then uh, we will search for courses here and then we'll go courses component and here we don't uh, use the component uh, uh, self we use the compiled component so that will be the add template and then we will say as uh, courses template and uh, so this is courses template and courses uh, this will be uh, imported so this you can uh, see that it will be uh, predicted normally but now it's not okay so the thing is that uh, now the compiled is successful but the thing is that I have to change I had to change the naming uh, of the files to underscore so we see that like courses it will be with underscore the template courses dot underscore dot, uh, courses underscore component otherwise you will be really confusing by using the courses uh, uh, underscore component to template so this will be readable more than with the point that I used to so uh, from now on i will change also the app header so you're gonna you see that the app header also uses the underscore instead that instead of the point so our route is done uh, we done uh, so that's just one route 
uh, now we need just to import it what we can do is actually export the also with the uh, with this route we will we can export our route path so we'll say route and also this one take the whole package to get the file like uh, to go to the file and the source utils and it's just next to the each other next to the each other so it's just ancestor so we just go like this or maybe even without because uh, route dart will be a uh, and Dart will recognize these classes. So now we have our route paths and also the route will be exported and inside the main, uh, actually inside the app, so inside the app Dart, now we will provide the routes here. So in order to do that, we will just make uh, an export. So this is exports array and then we will say just route path and also uh, routes so let me import this one so this will import the routes from our uh, where is it yeah so from our uh, utils from routes and it's also import the route path because we exported it from there now the thing is if you will go to app component here we need to provide our route that's why we export it here so we need to provide our route the to get all the uh, routes here so what we're gonna do is combine them so we'll say routes is route oh so that will bring the whole routes and then import it inside this and that's uh, just for ng uh, uh, angular directives that were two uh, way binding and let's see what the error says and he says the course template course component getter not found course component so if you are confused about this one and how to get the compiled name uh, specifically if you have to go to dart tool and then inside the build generate it and go to your so this is a uh, whole the packages and one of them is your package which is your app and then inside the library and we will see what kind of compiled uh, files here so one of them is the source component courses and then you see courses component to template so this is our file which is and inside the routes you can see also there is a route path uh, template so this is all the compiled files here ah uh, we forgot something so here we need to bring the all because now we have just the courses all and now uh, inside the app component sorry inside the app component html we say routes.all but we don't have property.all we have just courses so that's why we forgot to do this and then we say static final all and that let me bring, make some space and that will bring uh, the route definition here so it will bring an array of all the route definitions and one of them is the courses route because now courses is uh, static and this is static we can use them and it's also a route definition so that's why and what we can do also uh, for but what we can do also we can use the route definition and we say a uh, redirect so this is redirect we can use it and then we use the path and if you have path with the home so it will be redirect to uh, route paths dot courses so this will uh, dot url so this will redirect our uh, home component uh, our our home to the courses so this is just for testing but we will make a home component for uh, home component later uh, okay i know the problem now so the problem that this one is courses component so we'll say courses component so it takes the same as this file without without the underscore they say courses component so it, it will be just a camel case courses component and then we will add ng factory and that will bring our uh, courses component here and then you will see this succeeded so let's reload and now it goes directly to courses and then you see the url it goes directly to the courses 
yeah that's not like this so this is courses component goes directly to the courses if we go to home and reload it will go directly to the courses because we use the redirect too now we will make our home and uh, yeah we will make our home component and we will remove the redirection because now the redirection it will be in case of there is an no, uh, undefined route it will be to uh, not found page so this one should be commented that's it for this part thank you for watching and see you in the next video